The fact that so many animals employ camouflage to either conceal from predators or even prospective prey is one of the most interesting things about wildlife. An animal that is well camouflaged just disappears into its environment, whether at the forest floor, the ocean bottom, or trees, leaves, or bark. There are occasions when an animal's camouflage is so perfect that the species seems to vanish. Here are top 10 animals that can camouflage. So let's dive in. Number 10. Walking Stick These insects belong to the order Phasmatodia, and as their name implies, they mimic sticks or twigs. Certain species found in tropical regions also resemble leaves. With the exception of Antarctica and Patagonia, they are present everywhere on Earth. They are almost invisible when they stop moving, which they do when they detect a predator close by. Walking stick insects are found in more than 300 species and may reach lengths of up to 12 inches. Walking sticks often have a striped head and are green, gray, or brownish in color. They may sometimes become a problem, particularly on oaks, and they feed at night on the leaves of the shrubs and trees that provide them with cover. Not only can the walking stick imitate a twig, but it can also spray an irritating fluid in order to scare off predators or even human collectors. Some walking sticks have spines that are sharp enough to pierce skin. Number 9. Chameleon Because of its almost unparalleled capacity to alter the color and pattern of its skin, this lizard's name is almost synonymous with animal camouflage. Found across sections of the Middle East, Southwestern Asia, Southern Europe, Madagascar, almost all of Africa, and portions of India and Sri Lanka, these lizards prefer warm weather. These days, populations exist in Florida, California, and Hawaii. They do well in deserts as well as rainforests. Being a skilled predator, the chameleon not only changes its color to elude predators, but also conceals itself from potential victims. Their eyes, which resemble turrets and are capable of independent movement, combine to provide the lizard with three-dimensional vision when it focuses on its target. Some of these lizard species are so skilled at hiding from predators that they alter their color to match their outline. For instance, chameleons change their hues in response to UV light, which is sensed by a large number of predatory birds. Number 8. Scorpionfish in addition to being an expert and mimicking the appearance of an animal, scorpion fishes are among the world's most poisonous fish. A vast family including between 100 and 200 species, they may be found in warm seas worldwide. However, the Indian and Pacific Oceans are home to the majority of them. The length of a scorpion fish is 8 to 12 inches, and its weight is little over 3 pounds. The word scorpions refers to the venomous spines that stain a fish, particularly in the dorsal fin. The toxic mucus covering the spines shields the creatures from predators, but the fish's pigmentation also serves to conceal them from possible food sources. Crabs and shrimp are among them. The stonefish, as its name implies, is particularly skilled at this since it resembles a stone that is floating on the ocean bottom. Scorpionfish pose a risk to scuba divers and snorkelers since they are abundant in shallow areas. Even yet, people collect scorpionfish because they have edible meat. Number 7. Nightjar Medium-sized nightjars are active at night or dusk. They live everywhere except New Zealand and Oceania and have small bills, huge jaws, and long wings. Because they nest on the ground, their plumage is brown, buff, gray, and black to blend in with the forest floor. In addition, these birds lie on tree branches throughout the day instead of sitting on them. This hides them too. Nightjars average 10 to 12 inches, 0.18 pounds in four years. Some critically endangered nightjar species are adept at animal camouflage. These birds may rest on roadways and are hit by automobiles. Number 6. Crab Spider Crab spiders grasp their front legs and run like small crabs, thus their name. Over 2,000 Themisae the crab spider species inhabit worldwide. Flower spiders perch on flowers and wait for pollinators like butterflies. They ambush it. Size ranges from 0.16 to 0.3 inches. Some crab spiders may match the flower they sit on. Additionally, the spider may change the color of its prey. Other crab spiders imitate bird droppings or bark. Some crab spiders have several times bigger females than males. Non-extinct conservation status. Number 5. Giraffe. The giraffe proves animal camouflage isn't only for kids. The tallest mammal on Earth, the giraffe, lives in various African countries. Due to its long neck, it may grow to 17 to 19 feet tall, and males are larger and taller than females. The animal's prehensile tongue and top lip help it peel tree leaves. Giraffes are recognized for their gorgeous skin spots and blotches and lengthy necks. These brown, orange, or black patches separated by cream-colored or white pelage provide effective camouflage. Despite its size, a giraffe standing motionless in tree light and shadow is hard to spot. Giraffe cows may need this more than adults, who can protect themselves against lions. Number 4. Leopard Not all huge animals with strong camouflage hide from predators. 
If there are no lions in its region, the leopard is the top predator. It is found in Africa, the Middle East, Central Asia, India, Southeast Asia, and East Asia. This huge yet agile cat has rosettes on its hair. These rosettes help leopards hide in trees and hunt unseen. Leopard males are larger and heavier. Their shoulder length is 23.5 to 27.5 inches, while females are a few inches shorter. Males weigh 2,198 pounds, females 6,232 pounds. Leopard conservation depends on location. Some subspecies of the critically endangered Javan leopard have disappeared. Leopards are vulnerable. Number 3. Arctic Hare This hare is known for its arctic home and immaculate white fur. Its animal camouflage lets it blend with the icy terrain. It is a large hare that may weigh 6 to 12 pounds and measures 17 to 28 inches without the tail. In the south, this fur becomes gray or brown in summer and pure white in winter. In the very north, hare fur is white year-round. It's amazing that a little creature can live in such cold. Fortunately, arctic hares have small ears and noses, compact bodies, high body fat, and thick fur. Their tiny stature lets them reach food in rock crevices other animals can't. Moss, woody plants, berries, buds, leaves, bark, and roots are found in the harsh and stark terrain. They also subsist by scavenging fish and reindeer corpses. Number 2. Arctic Fox An arctic fox that hunts them is necessary if there is to be an arctic hare. In this instance, the animal is disguised from both predators and prey by its white fur. Smaller than most other foxes, the arctic fox is consumed by wolves, bigger birds of prey, grizzly bears, wolverines, and red foxes. The arctic fox comes in two different forms. The white-coated arctic fox is gray and brown in the summer, much like the arctic hare, whereas the blue-coated one has a coat of white fur. The white morph form of arctic fox is very universal. Number 1. Long-Eared Owl The long-eared owl is colored in colors of brown, black, gray, and buff, much like almost all other owl species, which helps it blend into the woodlands where it inhabits. It lies in the crotch of a tree and is difficult to spot even in the sunlight. Across North America, Eurasia, Europe, and Asia, this bird uses almost quiet wing beats to enhance its animal disguise. In the end, the victim is blind to the approaching bird and cannot hear it. Although it is smaller and leaner than the great horned owl, the long-eared owl shares ear tucks with it. This does not imply that the bird is little. The owl's length ranges from 12 to 16 inches, and its wingspan is almost 3 feet. Its population is diminishing in certain locations, but overall its conservation status is least concern. I hope you enjoyed this journey into the incredible world of animal camouflage. Which creature surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and if you have any other camouflage masters you think deserve a shout out, share them too.